working with government officials in a country where we would see a president of a country or an ambassador of a country and they would actually be overjoyed that one of their hospitals could be worked on. We were, without realizing it, several steps ahead of most when we started because we started with administrators, clinicians, facility uh, management people, material management people, all the individuals that function a healthcare environment participated in starting IMAC. So we were extensively experienced before we even started our first day. IMEC was founded in 1995 by Tom Keefe. Uh, he was a hospital administrator for over 20 years and had the opportunity to take a trip to India. And during that trip was able to see firsthand the incredible need in developing countries like India. And from his professional background, was very familiar with the amount of surplus that we have here in the U.S. healthcare system. And during that trip, he, he made a personal decision that his remaining career would take a, a course towards serving others in developing countries. And because of his professional background, made the connection between the U.S. healthcare surplus and, and the need in, in medical facilities overseas, and IMEC was formed. Well, as a hospital administrator, if we ever sent something to the floor of the hospital, to the operating room, or to an intensive care that wasn't just right, uh, we would be chastised for that by the doctors and disciplined by the board of directors. So to send even a bed that wasn't fully functioning, a crank bed, that one of the cranks wasn't working quite right, or someone hasn't taken the time to clean it off, or to package it correctly, was so contrary to what I had been trained in. The idea was to get equipment, predominantly basic equipment like beds, to China. I just couldn't feel comfortable with the level of quality and the, and the output that was being done. Tom's very original idea was the idea of transforming communities, addressing the core services of a community, health, agriculture, education. Healthcare seemed to be the one that took off the most, so it's really what we focused on from the beginning. The first project, uh, uh, Orphanage for Disabled Children in Jamaica, Kingston, Jamaica, a very impoverished area. Uh, where we were able to help a number of children. And to this day, I can remember a 13-year-old girl who had gone to the orphanage as a newborn was in such a condition she was never able to uh, have her life in a vertical position. She was held horizontal her entire life. After one week there, one of the orthopedic uh, uh, clinical people we brought had actually had provided her the opportunity to sit up into a um, wheelchair that was that he redesigned for her and it's the first time she could see over the half wall of the day room and she could see the other children playing and that was a milestone. It was very much a, a new experience shipping overseas and clearing customs and finding out how you identify the right facility so what we we consider the project side of IMEC and working with partners in country and working with facilities in country and getting the materials there safely was an entirely new new thing. So really you did need a friend or a partner on the ground that could work with the facilities and make sure that everything was happening the way it needed to happen. Our physical moves out of our home into larger buildings and then larger buildings and the number of individuals that uh, came to help us. All of a sudden we are functioning all of the medical supply areas and all of the equipment areas and people are knocking at our doors. Within two or three years of operating individual organizations are coming to our door and they're hearing about our work and then we're really doing full, complete hospitals at that point. Most recently, culminating in our work over 18 years, no better expression was with Partners in Health uh, from Boston when they did their hospital in Haiti. And we were able to provide all the equipment and architectural layout recommendations and biomedical uh, components to see a 300 bed wonderful uh, facility in Haiti become a reality and to know that we played one of the key roles in that. And she could see the other children playing and that was a milestone. Mm -hmm.